Straight up. Straight up. Yeah. Yep. And it'll take eight minutes. Oh yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna get brighter than Jupiter. Oh yeah, you'll see. Yeah. Yes, you can. Yep. I'm gonna look through a telescope. What do you see, bud? Pretty cool. I can see a lot. So it's Jupiter with its four Galilean moons in there. Yeah. Is it next to the moon? Is it next to the moon? So I saw bright light. Oh, so there it is. It's that dot below the moon. Goes straight down from the moon, and there's a dot. That's the International Space Station. Goes straight down from the moon. And it's going to go straight up past Jupiter and Saturn. It's going to get really close to them. And it's going to get brighter than Jupiter. So that bright dot is going to be four times brighter than that. Yep, so Jupiter is that bright one. Oh, yep, and Saturn's the one up into the left of it. And Venus and Mercury are both in the morning right now. So there are seven astronauts on there right now. Yeah, I did a lot of 17,500 miles an hour. 16 times around the Earth every single day. I wish uh, uh, tracking it would be a hassle. Also. <laughs> yeah. That is so cool. Look at that. Hey, all you flat earthers. Let's look that it's that high. Yeah, it's going to go pretty much straight up. And it's going to be out for eight minutes. It's going to be visible the entire time it's out. So the entire... We're going to be facing that way at the end. How high is it right now? Uh, 250 miles above us. People are in there. You got a good crowd? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the Air National Space Station straight up. Yeah. It just went right by uh, Jupiter and Saturn and the moon. Yep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if only. Yeah, right? Yeah. 17,500 miles an hour. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty constant. So they change every now and then just to adjust for things, but. <laughs> 17,500 miles an hour. That's how fast it's moving right now? Yeah, yep. I see two little dots. Dot right there. Yeah, what is that? So, oh, that is Mars up there. That red dot is Mars, yeah. But then it's going, that, yep, that's just a star it's going by. Yep, and there it is here. I, I will, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, and after this. That thing is so bad. <laughs> That's so wild. It's so clear. It's almost like you can see the green and red lights on, the golden <laughs> starboard lights on. <laughs> I mean, it's right. It's a hundred yards across. It's just a hundred yards front to back. It might be morning. Yep. Yep. About the size of that.
Do you know how long they've been on it? Uh, so they actually just sent a crew of four up three days ago. And there's so many people on there right now that actually one of them, they don't have enough bunks, like enough sleeping areas in the ISS itself that one of them has to sleep in the space capsule attached to the ISS oh, really? oh that they just God. went up in. It's staggering their sleeping ships. How long are they going to be up there? Uh, so usually a few months. Um, so like, uh, November, well, it got completed November 2nd, two, 2000. So it's been up there for more than 20 years. And just goes. Uh, not the same people. No. Yeah, they, they rotate shifts <laughs> every every few months, every every like three to six months usually. They go up there. So they yep yeah, they go up there. They catch up to it and then they orbit for a few months, 16 times a day around the Earth. So they see 16 sunrises and 16 sunsets every day. Every single day. Wow. Yeah. 93 minutes. Like 91 to 93 minutes. Yeah. That was a very clear view. Thank you, Matt. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I've been doing this for two and a half years, so. Oh, I actually just become a professor. I think you'd be great. Yeah, I, I think you would too. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Of course. Thank you. If you want, you didn't see Saren yet. What? You didn't see Saren yet. I want to see Saren yeah. so badly.